So, um, the name's Brad, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thank you. Bradwood? Yes. yes, that's right. Yes. Bradwood. Oh, great to meet you, Brad. Yeah. So, uh, here you are, the starring role in this new film that's coming out. Yes, um, Detention. Um, it's about a uh, psychotic caretaker that uh, locks these, ki these five arrogant teenagers in uh, the school. And he, um, he plays sort of mind games with their heads. Nice. And um, well, obviously they don't like that. They try to get out of the school, but he stops them from getting out, out of the school, if you know what I mean. You, you know where I'm coming from. Um, yes, it's, um, it should be a very good film once it's uh, all finished. So what would you compare the film to in uh, modern movie standards? Um, I would uh, compare it to... Uh, I wouldn't compare it to a modern movie. I'd compare it to... Um, One of the older films, perhaps? Um, One of the older films. Oh, yes. Um, I would definitely say that... Because um, I know I base my character on um, slightly... Um, Anthony Hopkins' uh, Hannibal Lecter. Yes, I, I actually noticed that now when I watched the trailer. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, I just thought that the way um, he looked at um, the other cast members and the way he, the way he looked, peered into their inner, inner bodies and um, the way he did all his hair back. And I, I sort of based it around that. But there's a sort of um, Nightmare on Elm Street theme about it as well as like Freddy killing the kids in the sleep. It's like the caretaker keeping the kids in the school, and it's all sort of similar to that. So, um, what made you take part in this film? Well, the first meeting we had about this film, um, it had already been decided that it was going to be about a, it was going to be a horror film about a caretaker and children, but we didn't sort of know what level it was going to be on, and uh, anyhow. Um, no one would sort of volunteer to be do the role of the caretaker, so um, I put my hand up for the role of the caretaker because I thought I could take on this big role, and uh, I hope uh, the audience will find it, and the other cast members of the film, and the director Roger Armstrong, uh, will hopefully find this film, um, you know, gripping and has some powerful performances in it. So uh, give me. Um, one of the quotes that you, you know, give, like your best quote, the most rememberable quote. Um, what the most memorable quote has got to be... Um, now, let me think now. Um, where they're sat in the cafe and he drops his newspaper and he looks at them and he goes, Buongiorno, Kitty Winkles. You know, he's got that sort of like... He shows his teeth a lot, like a shark, you know, because he's got this ravenous hunger to, to, to teach these kids a lesson. Not, I'm not saying that he wants to assault them sexually or violently, it's just that he wants to teach them a lesson, but he's doing it in a nasty, horrible way, if you know what I mean. So have you worked with any of the cast members before? Um, no, I haven't, um, but I've enjoyed working with them. Um, Roger's a great guy. Um, you know, doing all the uh, film, and um, he's, um, and then there's, yeah, I've enjoyed working with them all, really, they've all been there, and they've always, and I, I must say, they've all put their utmost effort in it, they've all done their effort, they've all put their, the best of their ability in acting, and some of them have come up with really good improvisations in the film, as this was not a film that had a script, it was all improvised. So good. Give me an example of who you think uh, did well in the improvisation. Well, I know uh, Jonathan Beatles, who played the part of uh, Billy, one of the uh, leading teenagers, the, uh, the sort of pimp guy. Yeah. Um, he had some good improvisations on the way of the shot where he um, gets his camera and goes into the corridor where the caretaker jumps on him and threatens him with a knife. He did some good work there with his face and the way he moved about, so and so, you know what I mean? So yeah, and then there was uh, one of the girls, um, she did well in uh, sort of like, um, what did she do? She, um, the way she come up the stairs was, um, when they were, com well, I shouldn't say one of the girls, both the girls did it well when they come up the stairs into the English block that we're now sat in, and uh, they were both discussing um, what had happened and you know how they're going to get out of this mess and then the caretaker comes out at them 
for me. And uh, yes, yeah, so uh, they all did it quite well actually. Yeah, yeah. Well then, um, thanks so much. Yes. It was great to meet you, Brad. Yeah, hope you enjoy the film. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh.